Bra, as far as the, the, the Broadway, did you do you go beyond the stage as far as the big screen? I know you I know yeah, you I've, I've, catch you and I, say you're thinking about it, but yeah, I've been thinking about it, uh, but I'm still homing on my craft and theater, and until I get uh till I get six cities under my belt, I probably won't jump jump in that lane as far as uh far as film. But uh I tell people because it's a big people are mistaken about theater. Like if you doing theater and I'm writing plays for theater, a movie is easy. Because when you write in theater, when you write in a play, it's usually one setting. Mm-hmm. So you have to say in that setting. When you write a movie, I could be all over the place. So we 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 got it confused a little bit, and this might rub a couple of people wrong. But <laughs> you know, if you are actor in theater, you can easily do film. If you're a person on film and you're trying to come to theater and you don't have your stuff together, it's going to show. So, you know, film, you know, I'm, I'm, I am going to write a film sooner or later. But right now, I'm on a mission to uh, make them respect black theater. Yeah, some, some of the big names in, in, in Hollywood came from, from theater. Yeah. yeah. But somewhere in the DMV, <laughs> you know, Things I don't, I don't know. If I wrote, if I wrote, if I wrote a stage play, I definitely could write a film or a short story or whatever you want me to go. Yeah, yeah. So well, you know, Cardmo Live is you know <laughs> waiting to receive the email for the next casting call because you know we we trying to be a part of you know we trying to hone in on our acting skills. So and, and, you know. and that's one of the things I'm proud of. We done had three we done had three auditions this year. Like this is on her. We did three auditions this year, and what I'm really proud about this cast is that uh, actually six people from the auditions is made the cast of Greece with a side of mumbo sauce. So that's one thing I'm really proud of. That we got a lot of talent in this city, and usually when uh, you come to an audition, that gives me a time to learn your personality, and I might see some because I got I got about 20 projects, so. I'm always looking for certain things, and 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 this one has to fit about six people from my rehearsal that came from the audition, and I'm telling you, this thing will be turned all the way up. Yeah, I've seen a lot of familiar faces in just that video clip we just yeah. Played. So the yeah, same. we, we ha- same. yeah we haven't even announced the cash yet, but yeah we it's thick. It's 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 gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. This might be one of. I tell people now. This I definitely think this was better than the gears because I've learned more. But uh, this definitely gonna step on the gears a little bit. I can't wait. I cannot wait to see it. Um, you definitely have familiar faces of people that I have um, either went to high school with or have worked with in other plays that um, my acting was kind of a couple of years ago. Like I'm a little rusty now, but um, yeah. Let us know though the next time that you do have a casting call because we would love to broadcast it on our pages as well. Um, and then for your red carpet party, Mo Live would love to be there to do your red carpet as well to do your interviews and all of that because you know that's okay. just what we do. So um, we do have a couple of your cast members that you are bringing on as well. But before we do that, DJ Rick, did you have any questions? Yeah, I wanted to know. What black uh, actor or, or person that came from uh, playwriting that that inspired you? Uh, actually, to be honest, I I haven't I haven't I wasn't inspired by uh, any playwrights. I was just inspired by it's, it's like I tell people. Uh, I got in the theater because it was it was my assignment. You know, God gave me an assignment. I I I can't even believe I'm in theater. I just woke up one night in prison and God told me, like, I want you to do a stage play. And we had a conversation back and forth. I'm like, I'm not doing no stage play. That, that, that ain't what the guys where I'm from, that's not what we do or what I represent. But mm-hmm. God kept it on my mind and, and, and I'm here. Like, actually, I think that, uh, honestly, um, I think that a lot of people are looking up to me now as far as playwright in the city. Uh, Cause I can't really say no one in the city that I looked up toward towards far as doing theater. I, I think that uh, personally, you know, some people say, but I think I made theater hot, hot. I don't think people was recognizing theater before I started. 
Not in DC, they don't care about that. You know, that. Nah, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Yeah. But you know, we can't say that. You know, I don't post to say that. But honestly, <laughs> nobody was really. We can say it for you. Yeah. So yeah. you know, nobody in DC was doing that. Yeah, and I still I hold the record right now because I've I've done three thousand seats. I sold three thousand seats at one time. So until and someone that is that, amazing. Yeah, so you know, you know, we can't we can't really big up ourselves or give flowers, but really, you know, I think I've definitely uh that's, that's the problem. That's yeah, that's the definitely. problem when you when you give yourself flowers like I always felt like if you can't give yourself flowers, why should anybody else? Why is you waiting for somebody else to give you what you deserve? You know what yeah. I'm saying? We should be able to speak positive about ourselves without sounding arrogant to somebody. And we only gonna sound arrogant to people who ain't doing shit they damn so. Right. And I can say this now, y'all know this. Uh, you know, DC is so finkel, so finkel about whatever somebody say, but you know, I I'm always ready because you know, I got my go-go war here. Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But and I also I, I got my mayor's awesome war here, so yes. I, I got the proof. So it's, it's the like be a Tony. Yeah. So oh yeah, yeah. I mean I, I do see that in my future. But right now I'm I'm really dedicated to seeing our people on the stage in D.C. Like we got to pay a lot of homage to our culture. And with Go Go, I think that uh, it's a community, and I think that it's it's, it's other ways for us to. Uh, you know, to give Gogo -Go their props, like evolution. So I really think stage play doing Gogo -Go music is an evolution of Gogo. -Go. Mm -hmm. We we keep telling the same stories over and over, but uh, in that that last documentary I saw on TV One, I saw them talking about Gogo. -Go. Well, I didn't hear nothing about the evolution of Gogo. -Go. Yeah. Right, and I do think that the gears. And DC Black Broadway was the evolution of the next big thing in Go Go. You know, so you know, I'm still struggling now with uh the Go Go community backing me up, you know, which the bands went through it. So I guess I gotta go through it. But what is the premiere? Um, what is the premiere date? Or do you have one for, for your next production? Yeah, Greece is uh premiering August 26th, 27th, 28th. Then we got uh September the uh 24th and 25th. Yeah, tickets are on sale right now. And this is going to be held at Bethesda Jazz and Blues Supper Club, you guys. 7719 Wisconsin Avenue, Bethesda, Maryland. Doors open at 5 p.m. Showtime will be promptly at 7 p.m. Because they're not running on CP time. So you got to be in your seats your CP by the time the show starts. Okay? So this is Grease with a side of mumbo yeah. sauce. 